How's it going guys, hope you're all well, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to go through and show you how you can create your own backtesting and data collection spreadsheet. You know, please don't overlook this video, you know, data collection is a really important part of trading, especially if you're serious about being a trader and you want to become consistently profitable. Data collection for me was the pivotal thing in my trading journey where it took me to the next level. You know, if you don't know your trading strategy inside and out, if you don't have data collection, how are you going to have the confidence in order to, you know, execute on your trades as and when they come within the market. So for me personally, what I've done is I've gone through and I've got data around my average stop loss size. I've got data around, you know, if I do and when I do hit a loss streak, how many losses on average it is before I next see my winner. Um, you know, I've got data around the duration that I'm in a trade. So for me personally, I'm usually in and out of a trade in under an hour. And, you know, a lot of the time people won't know this kind of information. If they don't go through and you know collect this data so your data collection is not to be overlooked and i assure you if you do start collecting your data like this what you will get is you know well you'll get unrivaled confidence within your training strategy and it will take your trading to the next level so first of all what we want to do is we want to start out by you know inputting the stuff that we want to track so we want to track stuff like the pair we want to track the day we are trading so you know monday tuesday wednesday etc we want to you know track the time that the trades are opened we want to track the time our trades are closed we also want to track obviously the duration so this will be done automatically as and when you enter stuff in to your your spreadsheet right here you want to track the session so are you trading the most in london new york asia whatever it may be is it a long or a short so long short you want to track stuff like, you know, the entry type. So have you got multiple entries? Do you enter, um, you know, from the extreme, from the flip? Do you enter using fair value gaps? Do you enter using, you know, something different, whatever it may be? So the entry type you want to also, you know, have data around. You want to have data around your stop loss. So this will obviously help you if you want to have a fixed stop loss. If you want to, you know, just know your average stop loss size. You want to obviously know the outcome and you want to obviously also know the you know risk to reward so rr risk to reward so risk reward and if you want to add anything else you can add it into you know these columns right here and i'll also show you how you can add that into the automatic spreadsheet that i'll show you in a moment so what you want to do now is you can make it look a little bit better so what i'll do is i'll just drag this all the way down to around here what i'll do then is i'll go to format i will go to alt alternating colors and just make it look you know a little bit better and just you know overall a, a little bit better on the eye so i'll choose i'll choose sort of this color what i'll do then is i'll change the font so i will make it bold i will make it you know centered so i will make it centered and then i will make it also you know white so it sticks out a little bit more so we've got the pair of the day, the time open, time closed, the duration, the session, the long and short, entry, stop loss, outcome, and risk to reward. If there's anything else that you want to add, feel free to enter them into any columns, make it your own, change the colors, change the font, whatever you want to do, make it, you know, customizable to you. So next what we want to do is we want to come over to the pair and we want to make a drop down menu for if we have multiple pairs that we are trading. So you want to right click right here, come down to drop down, it will then open this here. And then now you can put in, you know, the pairs that you're trading. So I'll put in, uh, you know, Euro, Euro USD. I will then put in GBP USD. Um, you know, if you're trading more than that, you can click on add another item. And then you can put in something like, you know, US 30. And then as you can see, go to advanced options and click on the arrow. And then it will look a little bit like this, which for me is a little bit better. What you want to do then is you want to grab this corner and drag it all the way down to the bottom. And then as you can see, obviously this column will be all populated for, you know, for you to choose whichever currency pair that you're trading at that specific time. And it's just as simple as that. On the day, what you want to do, again, you want a drop down menu. So click, right click, go to drop down, you'll be brought to this. You can then start putting in, you know, Monday, Monday, Tuesday. So now we've got all the days of the week. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. 
So now we've got the time open and time closed. So what you want to do now is you want to click on the time open, go to format, go to number, and then come over to this section. And you will now need to click on obviously, you know, the time here, or you can click on this one. So once we click on this one, what you will notice is if we put in, you know, let's say 1300, it will obviously populate to 1 p.m. And then again, you want to go to format, number, come down to the time. And then obviously if we put something like 1500, that will show as 3 p.m. So for this to populate for all of these columns automatically, you obviously want to just delete that right there. And then what you want to do is you want to drag it all the way down to the bottom. What that will do is once we put a time in here, it will show you the exact time. So again, it will show now 11 a.m. So the next column right here is duration and you just want to simply enter in this formula right here. So I'll leave it on screen just so you can see it for now. And then what you will want to do is you'll want to click on enter. Once you click on enter, as you can see, it might come up as a time, but to change this, just click on it, go to format and go to number, and then you can come down and you can click on the hours, the minutes and the seconds. Click on this and it will show you the exact duration. So as you can see, one till three, this duration is two hours. Obviously to obviously formulate this for all of these, what you can do is just obviously drag this down to the bottom. So again, if we just, you know, drag this down, so we'll drag it all the way down to this one. And then as you enter it into these ones, what it will do is it will automatically, you know, calculate the duration. So let's just test it out right here. So we'll put in 11 and then we'll put in, you know, sort of 12 as you can see a one hour duration so again for the session you just want to right click go to drop down and then you just want to put this in and you know use drop downs for the sessions so again just very simple london new york and what i'll do is i'll go through and i will populate all of the drop down menus right here and i will be back with you in a moment so as you can see, I've gone ahead and I've put in all of the drop down menus. So we've got a long and short, we've got entry, so flip and extreme, and just to add in whatever entry type that you use, you know, you can have fair value gap, like I said before, you can have just whatever you want, put it in here. And then the outcome, win or loss. So once you've done this, this is where the magic happens and this is where it all becomes automatic. What you want to do now is you want to come to the right hand side here. And here now is what we want to do and populate. So if I just go ahead and I like these two boxes right here, I will then, you know, make a little border, make it stand out a little. And then what we want to do is we want to put in win and we want to put in loss. What we want to do now is we want to calculate our wins and our losses. So to do this, what you want to do is you want to put in equals and then count if, and then you want to come over to where it says outcome. You want to click on outcome, come all the way down and, you know, click on select the ones that you want to populate, put in, you know, a comma, and then you want to put in a quotation mark and then put in win, put in another quotation mark and then a close bracket and then click on enter. What that will do is it will obviously put in a zero in here. You want to now do the same thing for a loss. So equals and then count, count if, select this, go over to the outcome section, drag it down to the ones that you want to populate, put in a comma, put in a quotation mark, put in a loss, quotation mark again, and then close the bracket, click on enter. And then as you can see, there is zeros in both of these boxes. And then if we go through and we put in a win, as you can see, these will be automatically, you know, calculated. And every time you put in a win or a loss, it will show in these boxes right here. Next, what we will do is we will calculate our strike rate or win percentage or whatever you want to call it. So to do this, what we will do is we will just make this section a little bit bigger. So we will obviously populate all of these here. We will merge these cells. We will then go ahead and do the same for these cells. So we will merge these and then we will go highlight these and put in a border. Put in a border on that one and then a border around this one. What we want to do now, we want to write in here, you know, win percentage. We can then center this so we can center it and then put it into the middle, make the text bold, make it a little bit bigger. So we'll make it, you know, around a 12. So to calculate our win percentage, all we simply need to do is put in a equal sign. We will then click on this right here. We will then obviously go ahead and put in a forward slash. 
we will then put in a open comma click on the win put in a plus sign click on the loss and then put in a closed comma once you do that you can click on enter and what that will do is it will populate obviously the numbers right here and then what you want to do is you want to come to format click on format come down go to number and then you'll want to click on percentage as you can see that's changed that to a percentage so now what we'll do is we will center this so we will put into the center and then we'll also align it to the middle and then you can also then make it you know a little bit bigger so our win percentage would be 71.43 percent so let's just check out see if it does actually work so click on this put in a win it will go up to 75 percent we'll put in a loss and a loss it drops down to 60 percent as you can see it will obviously go ahead and formulate and populate automatically every time you put in a win or a loss in this section so it's really simple really easy and once you've gone through you can use this as a live trading journal and you can also use this for data collection so what you can do then is you can also calculate the entry type so for example if we want to calculate whether you know we enter off the flip or the or the extreme what we can do then is we can put in you know i like these little boxes right here do this we can put in you know flip and then extreme so extreme so what we want to do now is we want to put in equals count if obviously i like the ones that you want to populate and then what you can do is put in a comma and just put in obviously the formula that we did use before so we'll put in flip and then we'll put in a closed bracket click on enter and then as you can see if we go to entry click on flip it will populate in this box automatically every time you put a flip and then obviously what you need to do is you just need to put in the count if formula into the extreme one and you can add obviously the count if formula to any of these that you want to track and want to obviously add automatically so that's how i go ahead and do my data collection spreadsheets guys it's really simple really easy and it's something that if you do it it will take your trading to the next level it will instill confidence within your in your trading strategy and overall it will just make you you know a better trader because you will know your strategy inside out you will know you know the amount of you know your streaks of losses that you might come up against whenever you're trading you know whether you know it's more high probable if you enter from the flip or the extreme um you know you you know your average duration that you're in a trade you literally know everything inside and out about your strategy and this is one of the things that you should implement if you're learning to trade or you're just you know struggling to find consistency so it's just that simple guys if this video did help you out if you have any questions feel free to drop them in the comment section down below and again guys thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one